Has given expired. to the Tasmanian. Time's expired. Send a line. Thank you, Mr. President. My question is to the minister representing the Minister for Health, Senator Nash. Does the government stand by the Prime Minister's pre-election promise that no Medicare locals will close? The minister representing the Minister for Health, Senator Nash. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Uh, I can indicate to this chamber that on this side of the chamber, we take health delivery seriously. And I can indicate to the chamber that we are going to concentrate on the delivery of services to the front line and making sure that our health delivery goes to the front line. Now, as the Senate would know, as the Senate would know that the Medicare locals are currently part of a review uh, being conducted at the instigation of the Minister, Peter Dutton, and that uh, we will indeed be looking to the results of that review to ensure, to ensure that there is delivery of Order. services to Order. the front Just line. One. Senator Nash. Order. On both my right and my left, I need to hear the minister. Continue, minister. Continue. Thank you, Mr. President. The Prime Minister has made it very, very clear that health delivery across Australia, particularly for Indigenous Australians, is a key priority for this government. Unlike those opposite, we are going to take a, an absolutely focused and deliberate and thoughtful approach to the delivery of health services across this nation, which is why the review is occurring into Medicare locals, and we will be informed by that review. Order. Senator, Senator Moore. My, question, my point of order, Mr. President, on relevance. The specific question was about the Prime Minister's original promise. If we could have that drawn to the Minister's notice. Um, I, I don't think. Order. Order. I, I, I gathered from the action of the minister that the minister had finished answering the question and had resumed the, the minister's seat. Um, so, in those circumstances, there is no point of order. Senator Lyons. I have a supplementary, and perhaps we can get an actual number this time. How many Medicare locals in my home state of Western Australia are on the chopping block? Order, the minister. Thank you very much, Mr. President. As, as senators would realise, there are 61 Medicare locals, all are subject to the review that is currently being, being taking place. Now, in terms, of the, uh, in terms of the senator's home state in Tasmania, it is completely erroneous. Order. So Order. 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 I, I will not give you the call until there's silence. On my right. Order. Senator Lyon. Mr. President, if I could just draw to Senator Nash's attention, my home state is Western Australia, and I ask about Western no, Australia. That's not a point of order. That, that is a debating point. That is not a point of order. 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 Senator Nash. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. President. And I do apologise to the Senator. It is, of course, Western Australia, and perhaps she could indicate to her, lead, her leader that Western Australia is not South Australia. Uh, and as I was saying, as I was saying, that it is erroneous. It is erroneous for the Senator to say the phrase the chopping block. That is indeed incorrect. Now senators know there is a review taking place at this point in time which is the appropriate <coughs> way forward to determine the efficacy of the Medicare locals and steps forward. Senator Lyons. I have a further supplementary. Thank you, Mr President. Why won't the government reveal its plans to close Medicare locals before the Western Australian uh, Senate election? Order. The, the minister. 
Minister. Thank you very much, Mr. President. And what a stunt from the senator on the other side relating to the potential Western Australian election. This government has been very clear. This government, this government has been very, very clear in how we are going to approach health delivery across this nation. And it is going to be about ensuring that we have the delivery to frontline services that we need that was so clearly lacking from the previous Labor government, from the previous Labor government, who was caught in bureaucracy and a lack of attention to what we need in terms of frontline services and getting services out on the ground where they're needed to the people that need them. Senator Sizelja. 